Hi guys, this is another video from Wrestling Replica World. Uh, this video is just purely to show you how to take out the magnet which is behind this belt which is roughly about here. It's purely so it's not locked like it is at the moment. This will work on the uh, kid size which this belt is actually the kid size or the adult size belt. And also it does get rid of that that sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but there is a sound when it's spinning, which is basically the magnets rubbing together. And um, to do this, all you need is a hammer and um, a screwdriver. Ideally, just just a small one. Okay, guys, just just to make this just to make this video a bit easier what I've already done is um, taken out these screws which are on the back which is basically f fastening the um, center plate obviously here you do have another screw which is right in the middle okay, so if I just take that off obviously you'll have two hands so this will be a lot easier. It will feel stiff at, when you're first taking it out. But you know that's just that's just standard to be fair. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just put the camera down for a second. Okay guys, so there we have it, so there's the main, there's the strap with the two centre plates and obviously you've got the two centre plates that's separated now. As you can see here, here's that uh, magnet which I told you about, right there and obviously on, on the other side which is here. Okay, this one here which is on the yeah the main writing part it's very hard to get out so I wouldn't I'd probably really just just leave it really um, but basically if you focus on this one um, basically what the easiest way to take it out is just if you turn it over what I'm gonna do is actually get a um, cushion put it on there As you can see, this is where the magnet is. There's a little hole. Yeah, so basically just put your screwdriver in or something just to push it through. Obviously, the reason why I've got a hammer is just that you... It's basically so you can just use the hammer to push it through even better. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down just so I can do this. Okay, so all, all it took was, you know, two bangs and it was out. So there you go, there's no damage to the actual um, belt at all. Okay, so if I just put this back on. Okay, so there you go. So what I've done is there is I've just put that that part of the metal side plate back in. Now, obviously, you put the main part in. Obviously, as you can see now, you can't hear anything. So it's a lot silent. You know, it's not. It's a lot more silent, and also it's not locked, so it will literally just just carry on spinning. Okay, the last thing you've got to do is purely just put the screws back in. You know, making sure that every screw is back in its original place. 
obviously I'm not going to do all of them right now for this video, it's just, it will just take too long. But obviously these screws just go back into its original holes. Okay, so obviously I'll do the rest of mine on this belt later on. So there you go. And obviously as you can see it does spin a lot lot better than originally. With no sound. Okay guys, so that's that video on this belt. If you've got any questions about any of my, uh, sorry, of any of my belts, then just um, just ask me and I'll happily get back to you as soon as possible. And obviously, like I said, I do sell any of these belts on my website, which is wrestlingreplica.co.uk. And um, I'm pretty stuck with what belt to get next, so if you've got any ideas, and then just give me a hint and I'll try and get them on, on here soon.